I'm Bishop Phil Willis, founder and senior pastor of Celestial Praise Ministries here in Chicago, Illinois. I am the president and CEO of Celestial Sounds Incorporated, and uh, I am happy today to share with you a product that has, uh, for the most part, blown my mind. I played my first Hammond organ and Leslie Speaker at the age of eight years old, and I've been playing a long time, none of your business how long. Uh, normally, during our weekly broadcast, those of you that are familiar with our service and our broadcast, we've been on almost 16 years, it will be in November, off to my right you would see both of my HL822 Leslie's. We're on a tight shot today for this video so you can't see them, but they're still sitting over there. However, they are unplugged, they are disabled, we're not using them today. In their place, we are using the Neo Ventilator. I've played many of these over the years have been impressed with none. They've all been garbage. They've all been trash. They've all been cheap knockoffs of a very good product. However, uh, the Neo Ventilator has not only captured my attention, but uh, has captured my love for the device and the product, and I want to pass it along to you. So in place of my Leslie speakers today, we have the Neo Ventilator. You see it in the right-hand corner of your screen there. My Hammond B200, which I use for broadcast, is plugged into the Neo Ventilator. The Neo Ventilator is then plugged into the input on a standard stock 8-inch powered full range speaker. This is not a prop. This is sitting here for a reason. This is a standard stock out of our stock uh, full range 8-inch powered speaker running at about 25% levels. We're turned down on every hand. I have left the ventilator sit here in plain view, though it's uncomfortable for me, because I want you to see uh, when I flip the switch, when I push the button, and you hear the animation of the Leslie come and go. Now, just briefly, because some of you have already emailed, called, and I can't talk to all of you personally, there are five settings uh, on the ventilator. From left to right, we have, I believe it's speed, the speed control uh, allows you to set the speed of the rotors, the top rotor, the bottom rotor, as it were in a rotary cabinet. It allows you to set it how fast and how slow you want those rotors to spin. The second knob, the acceleration knob, permits you to adjust the speed by which the rotors either speed up or slow down. So you have total and complete control. Again, it will allow you to uh, dictate the speed at which the rotors speed up or slow down. That's the acceleration knob. The balance knob, which is the third knob from the left, or the center knob, when it's at the 12 o'clock position, this knob acts as an equalizer, as it were. When it's at the 12 o'clock position, straight up and down, you have an even mix of the lows, the mids, and the highs. As you turn it to the left of the 12 o'clock position, your mids and your highs begin to fade and your lows begin to come up. So obviously vice versa, when you turn it to the right of the 12 o'clock position, your, your lows begin to decrease and your highs and your mids begin to increase. So it acts as an equalizer per chance. The fourth uh, knob from the left or the second from the right is your drive. Uh, more or less, it, 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 if you want to overdrive it, some folks like distortion. They like that old Hammond B3 Leslie 122 distorted sound when you're overdriving and pushing through much too, uh, through the system. And if you like that, then the drive button will allow you to do that. You can get all the distortion you want. I have mine just about turned off because I'm on a solid state organ. And even on the old B3s that I play, I don't like all that distortion and all that key click. But you can set it any way you want to. Then the fifth button, the fifth knob from the left or the first from the right is the distance. This is how uh, you would normally set your microphones if you were miking an old style, an old school uh, rotary cabinet. Uh, this will allow you to set the distance. You can play with it. It depends on how you want it set, basically used for recording. I've done some minor testing with it on recording and uh, it lets you know um, where you need to be, whether you're close or far. So that gives you a little idea. Now, uh, while I am playing this through an 8-inch standard stock speaker, uh, you can also plug your headphones in for late night playing. If you live in an apartment, a condo, and you can't blast the neighbors out, you can plug your headphones into the back of the Neo ventilator, hit that button, and it's just like you've got a Leslie speaker, a rotary cabinet, spinning in your head. All the sound that you need right there just in your own head. Uh, you can also put it through 
put the ventilator through uh, your system and your venue, your church, your school, your nightclub, wherever it is, play it directly through there. You can do whatever you want to do with it. It doesn't matter. It's entirely flexible and maneuverable. Uh, you, you can do exactly what you want to do with it. I love it. You can run stereo in. You can run mono in. Whatever you want to do, it is a well-made German product that I love. 